up guys if this is your first time on my channel my name is Siobhan and on this channel what I do is document my life and I also represent who God is through my life so feel free to subscribe to like this video if you choose to because my goal for this channel is to help re represent who God is to introduce them to who God is so welcome guys let's get into the video so welcome back to another video 2019 has been a roller coaster ride I just want to let you guys know that I have my ups and downs I have learned a lot through 2019 and I am ready for 2020 is gonna be a year of victory victoriously overcoming getting ready to step into what god has called me to step into there's gonna be a lot of changes i'm gonna be out of high school i'm gonna go off to college it's amazing and this is leading me into what today's video is gonna be about which is having crazy faith and also trusting in god and past four months i have been watching this series on transformation church is a pastor named michael todd who puts his sermons online i have been watching this series for quite a while now they just finished up the last sunday two sundays ago and it's called fade in fate i believe i am gonna link the sermon series down in the description link down below feel free to check it out because it has truly changed my life and while watching these series it has taught me about having faith to believe what God is currently doing in my life and what God can do in my life but also exceeding those expectations on the real I thought I had faith but after watching those videos my faith has grown tremendously and I want to say that the first part of my journey was just like trusting God with college getting in four-year school picking the right school knowing that God will provide a way that I would get in school I am a student that has achieved academically but I did not have the confidence in myself that maybe I'm cut out for college material. I have compared myself to my fellow classmates thinking that they're better than me. Even when I re didn't realize that it's not about the comparison between me and them, it's about what I have in store on the inside because each person has something differently that they carry within them. So that's that purpose that God has given us and the gift that he has all given us. Each and every one of us has a gift, a spiritual gift that God has given us. Each of us has a gift that God has given us. And it took me a while to learn that, that I am special in my own way, that God loves me and I have purpose in the things that he's called me to do. And while I was watching the series, I started off with baby faith, hazy faith, faded faith, bugazy faith, there were so many sermons that was taught about it, including my own church that I go to that I didn't know that these messages could actually connect together and like exist. Like it was God that was working on me. So talking about the college process, I just recently finished up my common app and I'm getting ready to do the FAFSA and all of that. And I wrote down that I would get accepted to a four year school with a full ride tuition. Now it's crazy until it happens, you know? I did not believe God that this was, I, I did not believe at first, but it took me some time to realize like once I put my whole body into like my whole existence into trusting God that these things will really cut out and work things out. That is the God that I serve. In doing so, I received a letter before my Christmas break and I got accepted to a four year school and it's a university. I thought I was going to get accepted to a college, but it's a university. I got four years covered based off of my academic performances to make matters even better everything is covered now I just need to worry about what the after cost is gonna be. but I'm still believing God that he's gonna provide all my needs I don't need to worry I can just focus on what is going on now so to continue with this journey of my faith I decided to pursue YouTube and to make a business out of YouTube but not only that but photography and videography and what I realized was that I was using a computer that did not meet the standards I had lags, my programs were shut down on me. I was having trouble making videos. And that's one of the reasons why I did not put out so much video content. I had the crazy faith to believe that God is gonna provide 
$1,400 for a laptop. The laptop that I got is the Asus Zenbook 15. And I got this laptop because, first of all, believing God and having faith in Him. Because I know that my family is in a situation that they can't just go out and say, Oh, Siobhan, you want a laptop? Yeah, we're going to buy it for you. Just pick the one that you want. My family's not in a position to do that. So when that increase did come through, because it wasn't there before, my mom gave me a call and I have been waiting four months for this laptop. Four months. Four months. And before I even tell you what the call my mom said to me, one of the persons that God has put in my life to spiritually guide me told me that once you like once you get personal with it and tell God what you truly want and just believe in him and thanking him before it happens, that it, it is already taking place in heaven but your physical body has not received it yet so you had to be in the posture of just thanking god for what he has already done i did that and after doing so i received a call from my mom so it's been four months i've been like patiently waiting for this laptop and i received it my mom said siobhan how much is the laptop again i said it's it's thirteen hundred dollars right then I went online and the one that I was looking at, it was on Amazon, it was on sale for that amount of money, right? It went up to like $1,700 or $1,800. And I'm thinking like, mom, is it, it went up. And she's saying like, all right, let's wait another week and then we get it for you. And I, was, I just remember, this is not the laptop that I want. This is what I got sidetracked with thinking that this is the one that I wanted. But you know, God works things out for goodness of his people. Everything works out in the end. I went on to b and and then I found my laptop. It was just right there. And the price was exactly right there. Shipping and shipping and handle, everything checked out. And this saying this, guys, crazy fate is true. Like trusting God and knowing that he's able to do, but he's willing to exceed all our expectations. That is the God that we serve. When I told my mom the price, she said, here's all the information, fill out all of that, and then buy the laptop. I was not going to wait no more days now, <laughs> but I did have to be patient on the delivery. I did the one day delivery and I received my laptop. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that when you build up a relationship with God and you decide to trust him and put your faith on the things that you hope for that are currently on scene that you know that your God is able to do that God is able to do all those stuff and not wavering your faith and stuff like that you are gonna see that your God is for real for real for real you know what I'm saying and it took me a while to realize that and that trust in him is a key factor but the best thing you have to do is obey him when he says write it down when he says work towards it or save up for it obeying him when he says give constantly on a constant basis like giving your your offerings giving abundance to the church and stuff like that knowing that the money that you're giving is going to come back yes that is it. When you are able to realize and comprehend that you are a servant of God that is doing it behind the scenes and that when you are obedient, he's going to reward you based off your obedience. But he's a God that loves you so much that even when we're disobedient to him, he still keeps us up and he, he supports us. He walks with us. He, he's the type of God that does that, that loves us, and that we get that conviction conviction when we're not living right, because we know what we're supposed to do. And I learned and I have grown. So 2020 is the year where we take over people. We just hit a hundred, a hundred subscribers recently. And I can't phantom like the words that I want to tell you guys. I just want to say, at least say this. I appreciate the love, the support that I've been receiving from you guys. And I just want to say that in the year 2020, expect more from this channel. We're looking for weekly talk shows. We're looking for vlogs. Yes, I said it. You're going to see Siobhan vlogs. All right, guys.
we're looking for encouragement and we're also looking for devotions i want to start uploading more to my channel and i said what better way of reaching my audience by bringing in the word of god through devotions this is something a habit that i want to develop and i want to come before you guys with the word so that you guys can feed get some food too while i'm receiving it as well so guys let's do it this year is the year that i am excited for we're gonna end this year all strong i love you guys and i'll catch you in another one peace grace and love fam take care